In this question, we have a motorist heading east through a city who accelerates at a constant 4 meters per second square. At time t equal to 0 seconds, it is 5 meters east of a signpost, while he moves east at 15 meters per second. There are two parts to this question. The first part, find his position and velocity at t equals 2 seconds. Now the first part to solving kinematics questions is always to create a reference frame. In this case, we can conveniently take the position of the signpost as the origin. While the positive x direction is pointing eastward because the car is traveling eastward all the while. So it's convenient to take the positive x direction to be pointing to the east direction as well. Next step is to gather all the data that we are given. We are given that we have a constant acceleration of 4 meters per second square. We are also given that the initial position of the motorist x0 is equal to 5 meters east of the signpost. Next, the initial velocity of the motorist is given as 15 meters per second. The subscript 0 here means that it happens at t equal to 0 seconds. Okay, for the first part, find his position at t equal to 2 seconds. Now, since the acceleration is constant, we can simply use this kinematics formula v equal v0 plus a t minus t0. Here v0 is the initial velocity given here. a is just the constant acceleration also given in the data. And t here is the time that we are interested in which is given as 2 seconds. t0 is the initial time which in this case is 0 seconds, because motion starts when we start the clock. So this equation will then give us the velocity at t equal to 2 seconds. So let's plug in the values. v0 is 15 plus acceleration of 4, t is 2 minus 0. That will give us 23 meters per second as the answer. Okay, that seems simple enough. Next, find his position as well at t equal 2 seconds. Now to find his position, we make use of another kinematics formula using x equal to x0, the initial position, plus v0, initial velocity, t minus t0, plus half times acceleration, t minus t0 square. This is another kinematics formula that we will use very often. Now, once again, all the data um, is given to us. x0 is 5 meters plus the initial velocity is 15. And we know that t is, here is 2 minus 0. t0 is always 0 in this case. Plus half times the acceleration of 4. And then this is just 2 minus 0 square. So we simply evaluate this to obtain 43 meters, meaning that the motorist is 43 meters east of the signpost at t equal 2 seconds. Okay. So now we have solved this part A using kinematics formulas. What if we were to use the graphical method, meaning using the VT graph to solve the same question? Okay, let's see how we do it. So using graphical methods. So now, we start off by sketching the VT graph or the velocity time graph where the vertical axis represents the velocity 
and the horizontal axis is the time axis. This is in seconds, this is in meters per second. So we know that the initial velocity is 15, so let's say 15 is somewhere here. Okay, and we also know that the slope of the VT graph is actually the acceleration. Right, the acceleration is represented by the slope of the VT graph. Why? Because remember that acceleration is dv over dt. Okay, so therefore we have a constant acceleration of 4 meters per second square and this is represented by a straight line. Alright, and our task here is to figure out what exactly is the velocity at this point here, right at the end of the motion here. I mean at t equal to 2 seconds. So this t equal to 2 seconds. Let's um, figure out how we actually compute this value of the velocity v. Let's call it v1, right? v sub 1. So the way to compute the velocity is since, so we argue it this way, since a is dv over dt, alright, in this case because acceleration is constant, so it's just delta v over delta t. Alright, therefore this implies that delta v is equal to a delta t. Alright, so what is delta v? It is just v1 minus 15. Okay, this is the point v1 and this is 15. So delta v is just v1 minus 15 is equal to the acceleration, which is given as 4. Delta t is just 2 minus 0. So the two points that we are talking about refer to these two points. This point here and this point here. Alright, so we can now easily solve for our v1, which is equal to just 15 plus 8 equals 23 meters per second, which is the same answer as what we obtained previously using the kinematics equations. Okay, so that's uh, for velocity. What about the uh, position at t equal to 2 seconds? Now to solve this second part, first we write down our kinematics equation v is equal to dx over dt. Velocity is the rate of change of position respect to time. Therefore, dx is equal to dt. Right, just rearrange the equations. And here then we do an integration dx is equal to integration of v dt. The lower limit here is x0, but this t0, and the upper limit here is x, and this is t. Okay, so in fact, we to, to make our notations consistent, we say that this x1. x1 corresponds to v1, the velocity and the positions at t equal to 2 seconds. We then try to uh, manipulate this, x1 minus x0, equal to t0 is 0, t is 2 seconds, v dt. This is actually the area under the vt graph from t equal to 0 seconds to t equal to 2 seconds. Right? Meaning, it is a shaded area under the vt graph from t equal to 0 seconds to t equal to 2 seconds. So this green area represents the displacement of the motorist from t equal to 0 seconds to t equal to 2 seconds, and which is what this expression refers to. Right? So the area under the VT graph, the shaded area here, is easily computed by using our formula for the area of a trapezium, which is half times uh, the width here, which is 2 
multiplied by 15 plus 23. 15 is here, this length here, 23 is this, this length here. Okay, that's the formula for the area of the trapezium. So it's half times 2, 15 plus 23. And if you were to press your calculator, that will give us 38. So finally, x1 is equal to 38 plus x0, which is actually 38 plus 5 giving us 43 meters. So we get the same answer as what we had previously obtained. It is important to take note that the area under our BT graph represents the displacement. And the slope of the BT graph is the acceleration. And for constant acceleration problem, the BT graph is always a straight line. Why? Because the slope the acceleration is constant. Alright, let's move on to part B of the question. Where is he when his speed is 25 meters per second? Now, once again, we will use the kinematics equations method and also followed by the graphical method to solve this part. First, using kinematics equations, Using v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a x minus x naught. This is another important kinematics equation that you need to know. Here v naught is the initial velocity. A, of course, is the constant acceleration. x is the position. x naught is the initial position. So if they want to know his speed at v equal to 25 meters per second, we need to rearrange this, this equation to make x the subject. So x minus x naught is equal to v squared minus v naught squared over 2a. Alright, therefore x is equal to v squared minus v naught squared over 2a plus x naught. So we just plug in the values that we know. This is equal to 25 squared because the current speed is 25 meters per second. V naught is 15 as given the question divided by 2 times the acceleration of 4. And that has to be added to the initial position which is 5 meters. And if we were to evaluate this, you will get 55 meters as the answer. Right. This is using the uh, kinematics equation method, which is quite straightforward. Okay, so what if we were to solve this question using the graphical method? Using the graphical method. Now, once again, we sketch the VT graph. The vertical axis is the velocity and the horizontal axis is the time. So, so the motorist started at 15 meters per second and remember that I mentioned that the graph has to be a straight line because acceleration is constant. So we have something like this, it's supposed to be a straight line. My drawing is not perfect, but uh, just take note that this is indeed a straight line. And the uh, final velocity is given the question as 25. So our task is to figure out where is he when the speed is 25. So in other words, we will need to compute the area under the graph. So we know from v equal to dx over dt, we can integrate this equation, dx is equal to v dt, where the lower limit here is x naught, here is t naught, and 
the final position we call it x1, the final time we call it t1. So t1 should be indicated here. This is t1 from the graph. Now this will lead us to x1 minus x0 equals to t0 is 0, time t1 is unknown to us, bdt. So in fact, this expression here represents the area under the graph. Let me shade this region in green. So this area here is actually uh, the integration of uh, VDT from 0 to T1. Now we can't directly compute this area because T1 is unknown to us. So what do we do? We need another piece of information. And that comes from the uh, fact that the slope of the VT graph is the acceleration. So from a is equal to delta b over delta t so that delta t is equal to delta b over a and delta b in this case is 25 minus 15 sketch on this triangle here All right so this is our delta v All right and this is our delta T, all right. So this is equal to 25 minus 15 divided by the acceleration of 4. And delta T, we know that it is just T1 minus 0 because from the figure here, delta T is T1 minus 0 seconds. So that will give us just T1 equal to evaluate this expression, you will get 2.5 seconds. All right. So once we know T1, we can go back to the previous equation and evaluate this expression here, which is given by the green area. Okay, once again, using the expression for the area of a trapezium. So x1 is equal to x0 plus the area of a trapezium, which is half multiplied by uh, the width of 2.5. And then we have the two sides, 15 plus 25. And that will give us 5 plus 50, giving us 55 meters. It's the same answer as we obtained previously using the uh, kinematics equation. All right. So in, for this part, it seems that using the uh, kinematics equation is much more efficient, okay? But then uh, using the graphical method is actually quite illuminating in the sense that you have to know certain concepts like the area under the VT graph is the displacement and the slope of the VT graph is the acceleration. Okay, it's always a good idea to be able to try out both methods to convince yourself that you are getting the right answer. Now for part B, okay, alternatively, alternatively for part B, remember that we computed the position using the kinematics equation equal to B squared is equal to B naught squared plus 2A X minus X naught. Now previously, B naught and X naught were taken to be the initial velocity, right? B0 is 15, X0 is 5. That is from the question, data from the question. We can also make use of the fact that since we know, since we know that X is equal to 43 meters, when B is equal to 23 meters per second. That is from part A, okay? We can also use this x and this v as the initial data. So that is to say that from this equation, x is equal to x0 plus b squared minus b0 squared over 2a, which is equal to 43 plus, in this case, b is 25. And b0 is from here 23. Okay, 
and divided by 2.4. X dot, of course, is from the new data as well. And you will still get the same answer, 43 plus 12 equal to 55 meters. All right. So we have, uh, we have come to the end of the solution. I hope you enjoy today's video and learn something. So let's uh, recap what we have learned uh, in the solution process for this question. So for part A, we found the position and the velocity at time t equal to 2 seconds using both the kinematics equations and also using the graphical methods where I would like to emphasize once again that in the graphical method for the BT graph, the slope is the acceleration, the constant acceleration. Therefore, for constant acceleration problem, the VT graph is always a straight line. The area under the VT graph is the corresponding displacement. Right? All this comes from the equations, uh, the, the very basic equation V dx dt, which I derived for you. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you again in our next video.